Hello, I'm Teresa Snow, and this is our new and improved version of our News Digest. We call it Inside MU Health. I'm at the quarterly leadership retreat. At the bottom of your screen, you'll see the stories coming up in this edition from breaking bias to our low intervention birthing rooms to unique window washing. Take a look. You don't have a time. An expert with the Neuro Leadership Institute told managers and supervisors that if you have a brain, you have bias. If we can recognize our bias behaviors, then we can work to remove the triggers that cause us to act on our bias. Just raising your awareness to the fact that biases happen all day, every day, for every single person in the room. It's not just about that awareness, it's about how do I change the behavior. Research shows that people who work in diverse and inclusive organizations increase their performance because they're open to new ideas to solve problems. When members of a group are similar, people tend to conform and don't speak up with new ideas. It's a celebration. MU Women's and Children's Hospital now offers Mid-Missouri's first low-intervention birth program. The home-like birthing suites are designed for women with low-risk pregnancies to have the option for a natural, unmedicated birthing experience with minimal medical intervention and technology. The biggest reason I'm so excited about this program is I'm excited about any program uh, that lives our culture of yes. If ever there was a program that lived up to the culture of yes, this is it. We wanted to offer women sort of what they would get at home, um, even though it's, it's not a home birth, but we wanted to offer some of the components of what they get at home, but within the safety net of the hospital should an emergency occur. Out of the blue, these superheroes came with a mission. Superman, Batman, Spider-Man, and Captain America visited young patients at Women's and Children's. These window washers showed off as they sailed across the windows, charming the patients. Thanks for watching this edition of Inside MU Health.